my lovelies. I hope you're all well. So I got asked a question which actually really flummoxed me and that was how do I write in design space in a foreign language? So for example Arabic or Chinese. And I knew how to do it, but I thought I'd be able to kind of expand on the fonts used and, and things like that. And actually, I haven't been able to find a way how. So I'm going to show you how I write in a foreign language in Design Space. And if anyone else has any kind of knowledge on how to do this, how to do it better, maybe how to change it, please do comment in the links below. Um, obviously, I don't write in foreign languages, so this is a little bit of an uncharted territory for me, but I'm going to do my best anyway. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I've done a few jackets in which I've done Chinese writing on them. Now, I don't write this in Design Space for the simple reason that I don't understand the Chinese language. I don't understand, you know, the, the words or the letters that would be used to make up a sentence or a word um, because the syntax is very, very different in other languages. So all I do is I go into Google Translate, I type the name that I want, I translate it into Chinese and then I screenshot that and I bring it into Design Space as an image. But I've got someone who actually wants to write in the language, in the names that they want. And I'm assuming that they will then know how to kind of put the name or the word together in that language. So the first thing you need to do is actually have your computer in that language. So we're just going to go to our windows here. And we're going to go to settings and you want to go to time and language. You'll then see down here we've got region and language, so we're going to click on that. And then it will say Windows Display Language, you can see mine's currently set to Chinese, and then underneath that we've got Add a Language. So we're just going to click on that, and let's choose, I don't know, Arabic Egypt. So we're just going to click on that and go to next and we're then going to install it. So you can see it's now installed and we now need to go to advanced keyboard settings and this will allow us to be able to write in our chosen language. And you're then able to pick the language you want to be able to write in. So we're going to go to Arabic Egypt and we're just going to click that and that will then allow us to be able to write in that language. Now a really good tip is to make sure that you tick the desktop language bar because it will allow you to change between each of the languages really really easily. So here we've got our language bar down here so if I just click on that it will then let me change it to Arabic, Egypt, English, whatever language I want to be working in. You can see that it's Arabic there. So if I then come into Design Space and I click my text, I can then type, let's just type love. Now obviously I don't know if this is correct, I don't know if you know, I'm writing it the right way, but obviously if you are versed in that language, you will know what letters you'll need to create your word. And this is what it will then look like. Now you can see I'm set to Times New Roman. If I change it to say, let's just do Christmas time, you'll see it will change slightly. Um, it changes the way that it looks slightly. But if we then go back in, let's go to Samantha, for example. Ah, now you see I'm typing in Arabic there, and it is not picking it up in Design Space. So I need to change my keyboard from Arabic to English. I'm then going to type in Samantha. It will then find Samantha for me. And you'll see 
it stays exactly the same. It's not changing it to the way a Samantha font normally would. There is a very good reason for this. The reason being is that when you change the font style of certain languages, you are actually changing what is written. And so Chinese, uh, Arabic, any of those kind of languages, they are going to come in in a basic font and you will not be able to divert from that. Exactly for the simple reason I say that if you start adding swirls and glyphs, um, it is going to change the way that it looks or the way that it reads, I should say. Now you are able to change it slightly. So for example, we can have it regular, we can have it bold, we can have it italic, and of course we can have it bold italic as well. But those are really your options as to what you can work with in terms of other languages. Another option is to actually search for fonts. So I've just typed in a search here which is Arabic fonts, and we go to Defont see again we've got lots of kind of Arabic inspired fonts but they're not what I would class as Arabic. Now I haven't tried this so we are going to try this now let's just let's try this no let's try this one we're just going to download it once it's downloaded we're going to double click it and we can then install as always, we need to refresh Design Space. I always just close it down and then go back in. So if we go to our text and we're just going to search for that font in English. Okay, and there it is. If we type in English, let's just type love. It comes up, you can clearly say, see that that says love. So it is an Arabic inspired. But what I just wanted to do was to actually change the language to Arabic and to see what happens. So currently nothing. So if we then go to text and we type in again. So it has done it, but it's still in that same font that it was in before. So that basic Arabic font. So you're not able to kind of change or play with the fonts really, but you are able to write in different languages. So there is a plus and a negative to it, but it is easy enough to be able to do it. And if you know how to type in that language, you know how to work in that language, then you'll be able to create some really lovely projects.